Hello Scorpio, welcome back to the Illuminator for your He Says, She Says spread. I hope you all are doing great. So let's see what we got going on for you, Scorpio. What are the messages in love? What are the messages that you have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Okay, let's see. I will have an extended video with how you both feel about each other and some advice in moving forward as usual. So let's see what are the messages. Thank you all for your likes, your shares, and subscribe as well, guys. And welcome if you are new. So let's see. Let's see. What are the messages for Scorpio in low? Oh, okay. Ooh, nine of pentacles in the reverse. Looks like some of you may have not felt very emotionally stable or felt like you needed more time on yourself or you needed to accomplish more tasks or more goals like you you felt like you were not ready to love like not ready to commit um, you weren't feeling very um, independent when it comes to your emotional security it could be like you understanding that you were feeling a little bit needy of love or you wanted some more than you would um, receive out of it so i do get the feeling that you you know you you kind of like realize that you may have been codependent and that's what i'm picking up like i'm hearing like you notice that sometimes you can get very codependent in love that you are really you know you wanted to be really with that person or you wanted to have that text or have that call or have have something and you were just like very much I, I see some of you really pondering and, and and waiting and thinking about about the other person until you realize like wait wait a minute like I need to get myself together like let me just like like this is not okay like I need to be independent I need to do my own thing I, I should not be relying on the other person too much so I feel like you you've encountered that um glitch within yourself where you were not as stable um, emotionally as you wanted to and you kind of like pulled yourself back and actually focus on yourself and that's when the queen of cups just came for some it would be like i need to really invest in my own like in myself in my own goals like i, I cannot depend on anyone else and that feeling just you know brought you back to yourself to your own self-confidence and your own emotional well-being so good job on that i feel like you really um looked at yourself very critical and also in in the way that you understood that you were relying on other people even if that was like emotional reliance like you needed to hear something you needed to hear like yeah good job you've done it and all that kind of stuff um so i feel like this is a very good accomplishment for you like you really realize what was um, what was blocking you in moving forward what was really being the glitch here you found a glitch that's what i'm seeing here and i feel like not all is lost i feel like you've you've realized it really quickly and you changed it you changed whatever you could within yourself and that's when you came up with the queen of cups so that's a very good start of the reading uh, scorpio so let's see what is going on with your person i see them they the whole time with the ten of swords so let's see what that means what is going on with oh okay devil wanted to come out oh that was a weird way of coming out but let's see devil in the reverse so that's good i feel like you both are coming to a realization yeah look at that the emperor is here and the ten of wands so you're dealing with someone that may have made things very difficult in the past and they are also realizing that they may have some type of addiction or some type of controlling attitude or controlling nature this is a very awful type of individual like this man is someone that needs to have all in his own control and everything needs to go in his own way and i feel like sometimes this person can get themselves um, swayed away by their own charisma so to speak and by the you know the energy or the um how do i say it? like the their the power that they have over someone or over people it can it can really 
rise to their head. You know what I mean? Like it, they can get very, very arrogant is what I'm picking up on here with this devil card. And I feel like because of that arrogance that can turn into pride and ego, they realize that it's actually making things more difficult and it's, it's, it's giving them much more things to fix afterwards. So right now, this person is realizing their own lacks as well. So you both are kind of like in the same boat here and they're starting to actually take responsibility of themselves. So with the emperor, this is someone that is realizing the power that they have in a good way and in a bad way. And they're starting to work through their own fears and work through their own um, control issues. All right. So yeah, you may have definitely attracted someone that was, that liked to control people control things um very very power game is what i'm picking up here definitely but like i said they're realizing that it brought them so much more Ooh, i cannot hold the cards what's going on with me i'm getting clumsy today sorry let's see well, maybe this person could not hold it together anymore. That's why they have the Ten of Wands. Because that devil energy made them really, like, made things very difficult and heavy for them. And they couldn't hold, hold it together anymore. But because this person is so mature and they do have a very good uh, component to this power and energy that they can have over people, they know exactly how to twist it and to take the responsibility and be like, you know what, let me just get serious and get down to business with it. You know, when, when you see that things are falling apart, that the person that you love is like turning their back and you, you're, you're realizing that you're going too far with something, then you're just like, let me just like get back my composure, right? So that's what I'm picking up here. What is going on with you? What's going on with you? Ooh. Okay, you got the Seven of Cups. I'm sorry, my hair. I get a bad hair day. Seriously, I need a haircut. <laughs> Seven of Cups reverse, the Sun reverse, and the Eight of Wands. So you're really wondering whether you should actually take action, whether you should pay like message them, page them. Okay, where in which country in which timeline are you in, Sonia? page them um but you want to you're really wondering whether you should page them okay let's just keep, let's just say page okay <laughs> and because there is something that you are not feeling very happy about there is some type of lack of growth lack of um you know you're not feeling happy without this person is what i'm picking up on and i feel like you're going to make the decision to either be open for communication or to communicate with this person on a much deeper level or maybe starting to express your your the depth of your soul more more so towards this individual because i do see a lot of communication coming in uh, i do also feel like it's going to be very challenging for you to um to get out of your head and to make that decision to do something that is actually you know, uncertain of how it's going to pan out for you. So you may feel like you really need some uh, some extra courage and you may lack a little bit of your, um, you know, you, you may lack a little bit of your courage to take action here. But you, if you're going to take action, I do see a lot of positive communication coming in or things actually being able to move forward for you in this connection. All right, so that's very good. Let's see, what else for your person? Nine of Wands. I feel like your person does not want to give up on you. Look at that. Nine of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and a Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Like, they have something to say. They don't want to give up. I feel like they really are invested in you. I feel like they are coming to the realization that you are very much worth their energy or worth a commitment, not their energy. I mean, that's very arrogant, right? That's very arrogant. But yeah, this person is working on coming forward with an opportunity, with, with some type of a big promise to you. And I feel like they're, they're, 
they're not going to give up anytime soon with this nine of wands they may be very protective of their energy they may be still guarded and not really um, opening it opening up but it's more because they are <clears throat> they're trying to find they're trying to find some type of a balance because i feel like there is some type of financial cause here or practical issues that you both need to overcome or they're re really thinking about how can i make things work like how can we uh, both become flexible and be in this commitment because with this two of pentacles it seems like there are multiple assets not assets i'm sorry multiple choices when it comes to how to get this off the ground i don't know if i could even tell this normally i don't know i don't know um, but these are just practical issues is what i feel i don't feel like this is a, at all juggling but it could be definitely juggling how to you know come forward or how to make things possible in this connection because it seems like money can be an issue uh distance can be an issue um you know there are things that need to be really weighed up or like put on the scale of weighing things up of like how can we make things work how can we make things possible so from the one to the two is actually a good thing you know what i mean it's actually someone that is thinking of the practical size of this relationship whether you know it or not they are really thinking about the practical size look at that queen of swords this is someone that is very much up in their head, really wants to um, bring some type of communication in that can... What is going on with me? <laughs> like seriously, what is going on with me? I think these candles are making it very hot right here. <laughs> and I'm just like, whoa. Um, I'm sorry, Scorpio. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if, I'm, if I sound a little bit scattered for you. But like I said, this individual is really thinking about the practical things and how to really tackle them. So this is a very serious individual that you're dealing with. That's what I want to say. Like this person is very serious in how they approach life and they don't just go with the flow. Let me just keep it that way. Like they, they're not someone that just goes with the flow and we'll see where we, where we land. No, this is someone that wants to have everything strictly planned out for themselves like they need to be in control that is also a part of them being a very control freak because they want to know exactly like okay if we're going to live together how what, what are we going to do with this and that and and with that and this and that like you know that's the type of person that you're dealing with like very highly intellectual highly intellectual individual is also what i'm picking up on they don't take decisions with a lot of flexibility. Like they really need to go through every little thing. They have a lot of Virgo and Aries in their chart is what I'm picking up on. And you just want to be loved. Like you're just sitting there as in like, but, but just like, daddy, come to me. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I was just joking. Okay, some weird energy here. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what is going on with me. What is the blockage? I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know what is going on with me. Blockage, eight of pentacles to the seven of wands. So you do really want to work on this and you do not want to give up on it. But at the same time, you are becoming very like... Nope, I don't want to do it. I, I don't want to do it. I'm, I'm not going to put myself out there for this individual. I need to protect myself. I need to protect my heart. I need to protect my aura. Like, no, I need to cleanse myself from this individual. Like, you're very much in that state of like, but very cute. Like, Scorpio, this is very cute. Like, you're really, really cute. <laughs> like, seriously. And you might be just overworking yourself in order for you... To feel like you're protecting your heart okay like this is you uh, working on your goals working on your dreams working on realizing and materializing and manifesting all that you want just so that you can feel like i'm protecting myself no one can hurt me because i'm focused on myself 
So be mm, the star. And you you know, like I said, you're working on your dreams, you're working on your wishes and all that beauty, but you know, there is some type of wish within yourself that wants to arise and you're just trying to hold it back. It's like, I feel like you're just resisting yourself as in like, no, I don't want this person. I just want to succeed. I just want to have my cash and I just want to, you know, have my career going. That's all I want to do. But deep down inside, you are trying to, <sighs> yeah, you get me, you get me, right? What is going on with your person's blockage? What's their blockage? By the way, they got a lot of upside cards. Ten of Swords, they can't stand this ending. Point, period, blank. Like, they can't stand the fact that you guys have separated right now. And they can't really, you know, think about anything else but that and blaming themselves for their own attitude, which has been very toxic. And that toxic attitude has gotten them feeling very worn out, very uh, depleted. And because of that, they have grown, they have matured, and they've, they're trying to work on their errors here. And they're not giving up. Like, they're not giving up. And as I was saying all of that, we had the judgment card at the bottom of the deck in the reverse. So for me, the judgment card is like when you are misjudging yourself or a situation or you're not being very honest with making the right decisions in your life. Or just not, not realizing your own mistakes, right? So your person is definitely feeling it. Like they're feeling the blues. I'm hearing they're feeling the blues. See, the world. I, their blockage is that you guys are far apart. And they feel like it's it's all over and done. The, it, it, it got to a big, massive ending. And that's their blockage. Like they, they don't want that. Like seriously, they don't want this to end. But will they talk about it? No. Page of Wands in the reverse. Is there a block communication? Yes. And they feel like they paid the cost of their own toxic behavior. Like even if they realize it right now and they uh, corrected it, you are not able to see their correction. That's what, what they feel with this world card being here in the blockage. Like they feel like, yes, I've learned my lesson. But what now? You know what I mean? We're picking things back up, right? <laughs> Let's see. What is your intentions? What are your intentions? Seven of Pentacles. See, I'm telling you, you're still quite invested. And you're contemplating about how to move things forward. You are thinking about how to um, realize this. Like, you're planning things. Even in, within your own life, like you're planting the seeds, you're, you're growing seeds, you're being very patient, um, you're very much in a contemplation mode of like what is working, what is not working, what do I need to change within myself, uh, was I a little bit needy, did I really want to have like a text back within like 10 minutes, like that type of energy, you know what I mean? Four of Wands, look at that, Ace of Wands reverse. You know, you're invested in this, you're invested in this, but you're not willing to take the shot. Like you're not willing to take the lead. You're not willing to make the effort with this Ace of Wands being in the reverse, but you still are hoping for the best outcome. Like, I feel like you're trying to put it out there in the universe. Like if it's meant for you, it will come back. If it's not, you're still going to reach the best version of yourself as you can reach. So, like I said, the star, you're wishing upon it, wishing upon a star. Like, if it's meant for you, it's going to come towards you. Or there will be, like, some type of a breakthrough or a reason for both of you to come together. But for you to take the appropriate action, you're still a little bit confused about that. But you're soon going to come out of your confused head and you're going to make a decision despite the fact that you're not really sure about what the outcome is. And the outcome is going to be very positive in your, in your, um, yeah, positive. Keep it that way. 
What is their intention? What are their intentions? See, Ace of Wands. If you don't do it, they will. <laughs> you, you, yeah, if you don't do it, they will. Ace of Wands. Scorpio's person, what is what are their intentions? Four of Wands wanted to come out. What are their intentions? They want to let go of the fighting. This is hmm. The, mm, look at that. Two stars. You guys are really like Whatever you feel about this person, they probably feel the same way about you. Whether it's negative or positive, that's up to you. If you think in the positive sense, they will they will likely start to think in the in the same positive way about you. If you feel like they have been very controlling, it may have been that you have been also very controlling in what you want to see from them in terms of emotionality. You get what I mean? So they may feel the same way about you. Like you've been to um, needy when it comes to emotions or controlling like you wanted to um, you know what I'm not even going to do it like I'm not going no you know I can be very weird sometimes but I was just like just stop talking right there just stop talking you either get it or you don't <laughs> okay I'm seriously I'm in a silly mood I don't know what's going on with me. And I think it's your energy because I was not in this mood the whole day. But thanks. Thank you for bringing out my true authentic self as well. Uh, four of Swords reversed, Queen of Pentacles reversed, and the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Wands. So this person is very conflicted right now. They're really, really conflicted. I feel like they have this feeling that you're getting away um, And also with this five of wands, I feel like they're feeling some type of competition around you and they don't like it. They don't like it because they want to be in control. They want to be um, owning you. I feel like there is a lot of owning type of energy here. But the problem is they're not giving you what you want. Like they're not really being there for you. They're not taking care of this commitment. But yet they do have the sense of like, I want to own you like nobody can have you type of energy. And that's something that you really don't want. Or maybe it does really, you know, light up some type of uh, energy in you. But you're just like, no, you need to really show me that you are willing to be committed here. Okay. So that's what I'm having here. Let's see. So two stars here. Really talking about both of you wishing upon that star. Healing. Wanting to heal this. And I'm also getting like this person really wants to fight for it. Like I can definitely see that. Overcoming difficulties. The worst is now behind you and you are sermoning any previous challenges. Like, like I said, you both have been through the ringer here. You both have been through the worst situation with this situation. And now things are going to be looking much brighter. It may take some time because you still have the sun in the reverse. So you may still cope with a lot of lack of hope or uh, lack of energy, lack of happiness about the situation and can really bring you down sometimes but the stars are here saying that you're receiving healing right now both of you are receiving healing and synchronicities are going to bring you together like that's really this is very special to have both decks just end up in the star in the upright so what do you need to release you know all these all these thoughts, all these different emotions, and like, you know, one day you feel like this about it, the next day you feel like completely the opposite, then you love them, then you hate them, it's kind of like this love and hate type of energy is what I'm picking up, and confidence is your key to success, like I said, you are lacking sometimes the confidence to take the leading role, to take in, um, you know, the necessary steps to move things forward, and this eight of wands is saying that, some type of energy is wanting to pull you, push you through it, like pull you out of that, out of that uncertainty and come to one strict priority decision. Like you're going to make some type of decision that is going to be 
you know, your top list priority. Like, I'm in it or I'm not, you know. And I feel like spirit is really pushing you to make that decision. Be bold and make the first move, Scorpio. Ooh. Be bold. Be bold and make the first move. Transform. You know, if you want to change in your situation, Scorpio, you got to transform and make a change yourself. If you keep on repeating in the same way, you're going to have the same result. So if you want another chance or you want another, um, you want the situation to move forward, forward movement, you need to allow the transformation to happen. All right. You need to allow the transformation to happen. You need to make some changes in your current reality. See, angel of healing. The angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. That's the sadness of the sun, right? That's that unhappy feeling. Unhappy because you probably made the wrong choice or you're not really um, happy with the choices that you have right now because you have your eyes set on someone and you want to communicate. And that communication is going to move really fast. So you also have the artist within you is about to merge. So you're going to get very artistic. You're going to tap into your creative ability. Um, this is definitely with the sun that is now in a reverse where you feel a lack of energy, a lack of power, a lack of uh, creative ability to express yourself as well, express your soul. And that expression is going to come with this eight of wands. So try to express yourself in a creative way if you are going to be the bold one and make the first move express yourself clearly speak your truth and express yourself clearly so there's definitely something that you want to express so i'm sorry if my microphone is acting up i hope that this reading gave you all the information that you were seeking and please don't like don't forget to like and subscribe if you are new to the channel and also if you want to see the extended reading it's down in the description box below this video on my website dealersilluminator.com so see you guys soon and take care guys bye